We like to champion the stories of everyday Brits and be their voice. No more clear than last week when we brought you the story of Brendan Kavanagh, the cancelled piano man. Well, tonight we're bringing you Harmony London's story, a Christian gospel singer who regularly performs worship music to passing shoppers on Oxford Street and has more than 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. But she was stopped on Sunday by a volunteer police officer and told she was not allowed to sing church songs outside of church grounds before the police officer in question stuck her tongue out at her. Let's have a look. Uh, religion you're allowed to do anywhere. No, miss, you're not allowed you are, to sing ch you uh, are, church you are. songs outside of church grounds, by the way. You're not allowed to sing church songs outside, outside of... Outside of church, or church uh, songs or church grounds. Uh, you're not grounds. allowed to... That's fine, that's fine. You're not fine. allowed, she just said you're not allowed to sing church songs outside of church. Our church of, outside of church grounds, unless you have... A, Unless That's you've been authorised no, no. by the church to do this kind of song. Yeah, not saying anything anymore, thank Are you, you saying that you don't care about the Human Rights Act? You're lost? Hmm. Ah! Unbelievable, isn't it? Well, now the Metropolitan Police have piped up and apologised. Here's what they said. The officer was mistaken in saying church songs cannot be sung outside of church grounds. We're sorry for the offence caused and we'll take the learning forward. Whatever that means. Well, I'm delighted to say that Harmony London joins me now in the studio. Harmony, welcome to the Thank Independent you. Republic of Mike Graham. Thank you so much for coming in. I mean, I think everybody I've spoken to and everyone that we've played that to has mm. been totally shocked yeah. that somebody like you who's sitting, playing in public, beautiful music, singing with your beautiful voice that you've got, and this maniacal sort of part-time volunteer police officer mm. comes up and starts talking to you as if you're doing something criminal. Yeah. I mean, you must have been pretty shocked when it happened. I was. I was completely in shock, especially the way it was explained to me, you're not allowed to sing church songs outside of church. Mm. I was, yeah, I felt just wrong. Yeah. And, I mean, obviously people were around watching this whole thing. It went on, I'm told, for about sort of half an hour, 40 minutes, right? And so yeah. she was trying at one point to confiscate your equipment and all sorts. Well, yeah, she was basically saying that if I don't, leave mm. then she's going to seize my equipment and everyone around was just absolutely outraged right and you were in oxford street middle of the afternoon very busy place to be yeah presumably you've been there quite a few times before so yeah. is it like your patch is that where you sit yeah yeah and a lot of people like will ask me oh i need to come and see you they'll come there specifically to okay see me. all right and and do you have a sort of regular set of tunes that you that you sing or do you you know do new ones do you do old ones um, yeah, I have a few favourites. I'm going to be actually recording them and releasing them as well. Oh, good. Because, I mean, with a bit of luck, this publicity for you is going to mean something good for you, because it might mean... Because you have... We're going to hear your voice in a little while. But you've got an amazing voice and, and you know, you. it's not easy performing in public because you never... I mean, you're in a place where anything can happen. You're, you're in a public space. Mm. You don't really know. But I presume most of the time people just come up and they're pretty nice to you. Yeah, all the time. I get lovely responses. I do post all my reactions. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, how did it end? I mean, we saw her sticking her tongue out. I'm not quite sure what she meant by that. I don't know why she thought that was a, an appropriate thing to do. Mm. But, I mean, the whole thing is... The encounter is just really odd, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, after, after I packed up, uh, I was just standing there and she actually told me that I'm not allowed to stand there and I have to leave right now. Mm. She was like... Um, so are you leaving now? Right. So I just kind of felt like the whole thing was quite intimidating for me. Yeah, and she had another police officer with her who yeah. didn't seem to be doing very much of anything. No, I actually posted what he was saying as right. well. And so he what was, was he saying? So he was just being very sarcastic. Mm. He was just like, I'll go and catch some criminals then, shall I? Because people were saying, yeah. why don't you catch some criminals instead of... Some real of... criminals, yeah. Yeah, and he was like, all right then. So that's... Very weird. And, I mean, how long had you been there when they... When they when they turned up, uh, about ten minutes. No, not so not, not very long. long. Right, not that long. And I mean, there are other buskers. I mean, I wouldn't call you a busker because mm. you, you're 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 sort of much more than that. But you know, there are places where you can play music in public. There's places mm. on the underground. They've got little you know delineated spots where people can go. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you've got no reason to think that there's any bylaw that stops you from doing it, right? I mean, I'm actually sharing the gospel, which is like part of my human rights. If yeah. you check Article 9, Article 10, I'm completely within my rights mm. to do so. So, that's yeah. And so you got into this when and, and how long ago and how long have you been doing this? this so, I've been, I previously have been singing while I was younger, mm. um, but I've been doing gospel for about a year and a half now. Okay. 
And the response has been amazing. Right. Everyone loves it. And why have you chosen to sing those kinds of songs? I just want to spread love and positivity and... We could do with some. Yeah, I mean, definitely. You know, the world is a pretty dark place at times, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. So, so um, are you attached to a church, as it, as it were? Do you play in a church at all? Um, I do go to church. I do go to church, but I'm not attached with the church. Okay. And when did you learn to play the piano? How did, how did that happen? I've been playing piano since I was about seven. Okay. So. Yeah. Right. And so a very high standard, right? You went to college and everything. Uh, yeah, I did my grades. Yeah. Okay. And so, what sort of a reaction have you had from the general public? I mean, you've got three hundred thousand um, followers on YouTube, mm. um, sub uh, subscribers. That's a big audience. Yeah. Has anything happened? Has anyone been in touch with you to say, you know, maybe you should record something? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm getting a really positive. A lot of people are, you know, supporting me, mm. um, which I'm really grateful for. Yeah. Because um, yeah. also you gave it back to her. I mean, you said, didn't you, in the, in the, on the video that we saw that, you know, don't you believe in the Human Rights Act? Because you knew that you had the right to be able to, to do what you were doing. I'm... I mean, the thing for me is when she was asked, so you don't care about human rights, she stuck out her tongue. Yeah. I feel like that was just, like, yeah, that was just really disappointing. Just really rude, apart from anything else, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, and since we've now found out that she's a volunteer police officer, apparently these people can just get jobs for the police. They don't get paid, but yeah. they get a reduction in their council tax, they get free travel on TfL. Oh. Um, so she can travel around London for nothing. But nobody knows how many of these people there are. I mean, I don't know how many people like her are wandering around the streets with those kind of powers. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. No, it's worrying, isn't it? Have you got a, a, um, a plan to, to... I mean, do you do it every day or do you just do it at the weekends? Um, yeah, I do it as often as I can. Mm. Because I, I really enjoy it, to be yeah. honest. And I like to touch people and, you know, give them hope, build up. It's to, like, give hope to people, even believers, non-believers. Right. It touches everyone. Yeah. And I get a lot of messages of... Yeah, I get a lot of testimonies sent to me, and it's right. just... Yeah. It's and, like, I mean, what would you? What would your hope be, then, for... I mean, I know this is going to be a big question. Yeah. For, you know, you want people to be more loving with each other, to get on better with each other. Is there a message? Because here you are, you've got a big audience here now, you can give us a message to to feel better about ourselves? I would say just be faithful. Because, and also just, I don't even know how to put it into words, but what I can say is I never really kind of wished bad on her ever, even while she yeah. was like intimidating me and kind yeah. of belittling me. I never wished bad on her and I was always polite to her. Yeah. So just if you could take from that. Yes just get on with people a bit better. Well, we're going to go to a little break. But before that, I'd love it if you could uh, give us a little demonstration of your singing voice, because it is so lovely. Yes. Would you like to? What are you going to sing for us? I'm going to sing The Bridge of Oceans. OK. Go for it. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander And my faith will be made stronger In the presence of a 